All right, all right. Hello, everybody. How are y'all doing? Today, we are going to be working on some uh, sub badges. I know I talked about this quite a bit uh, when we were making our emote, but I, was, I just really wasn't sure what kind of theme I wanted for the sub badges until, until now. And I decided on sushi, because, you know, why not? And, you know, as an affiliate, I only have six different badges to work on, so I figured, you know, if my number one will be, like, a white tail. I think that's what it's called. White tail, like the white nigiri. And then next we will have tuna. Third will be salmon. Fourth will be bronze. It's like an all bronze uh, sushi nigiri. Five will be silver, and six will be gold. So I think that's a pretty good layout for, you know, for all of the different badges. I just need to figure out how I want to take up all this space that I have to work with. There we go. So like, you know, all this bottom area is filled out. I want to make sure I take up as much of the canvas as possible, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe rotate a little bit. So, uh, I need to figure out how to make the grains of rice, because so this is gonna be extremely tiny, so it's gonna be hard to make out any details. Alright, I think this is a good, pretty decent base. I'm gonna try to squeeze it to the side a little bit more, So I really, really, really want to make sure I take up as much space as I can. No, pretty much edge to edge. Working with art that's going to be shrunken down to an extremely small size is always difficult because you want it to be readable, but you also want it to look good. Yeah, you know, just like as it is. I think this might be the sketch we're going to go with. Maybe. All right, so I'm going to take away my references here. Get rid of that, and I'm going to. Use the full canvas. I'm just going to change the actual size of the canvas and maybe that will... Maybe that'll get me a better idea. So now I need to figure out how I'm going to fit the line art in here. You know, this shouldn't take me too long, to be honest. It's so small that I don't need to put a lot of detail into it. Because you're not going to see the detail ever. Or any smoothing, because this is not smooth. I can't not line my stuff without without my smoothing tool now. Just thicken up these lines a bit more. Because we need super thick lines to go to see anything with this. Alright, so there's our, our fish base. Now I'm just going to do all the little grains of rice. Alright, I'm going to have like a grain of rice kind of tilted this way. Just make it a little less uniform. And maybe one more down here. There we go. Nah, that looks good. Alright, so there's our sushi. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. So let's pop down a little bit of color. Just kind of select everything. And inverse. So this is going to be white tail. Which is kind of like a- this pretty much just white. It's just white fish. I'm gonna make it like slightly off-colored. No, I guess like shading. I'm gonna kind of give it a little bit of shading around the edges here. Keep it nice and bright in the middle. Might even take like a brighter color. And kind of give- I don't know, give the edges a little something maybe. A little bit on top. Just to kind of make it look a little bit more interesting than just a flat flat piece of color. So this very, very white piece of meat looks like it's called something- it's like a, a escolar. I've actually never heard of that fish, but it looks like this like slightly pinker one is yellowtail. So, I don't know. I'm gonna- I'm probably gonna change it to be more pink, if that's the case. Because I wanted to- I wanted it to be yellowtail, because that's a pretty common fish to use. Maybe so is Escolar, I don't know. Let's just change it up just to be a little bit more pink. 
just to match that better. Now that I actually know what fish I'm drawing. <laughs> I probably should have done that before I started, but you know, it's fine. And now what I'm gonna do is, let's see, I'm gonna take a different color. And so let me make it a pudding layer. And I'm gonna just draw like little faint lines across the top here. Just to, just to kind of make it look a little bit more variated, I guess. I believe the yellowtail also sometimes has like a little dark spot on the end. Like right about here. I'm just gonna kind of blob on some color on the edges. And then just another layer. You know, same, same idea, just kind of darkening up even more around this edge and around the base. Now, Yellowtail has so many variations. Uh, let me deselect. Let's see, so that looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to add some variation to the rice. Just to kind of help separate the rice from the fish. So I'm just going to add like kind of little blurred dark lines down here. Maybe like shade slightly individual grains of rice. Kind of give the base a little bit of a dark bottom. And I'm going to take that light color, kind of re-highlight some of these grains of rice because I got them a little too dark. I'm going to merge all this down onto the same layer now. And I'm going to do one more edit to the fish. Just all the way around the outside here. And I'm going to just kind of desaturate it a little bit. It's looking a little too pink. That looks a little bit, a little bit better. But I'm, I'm going to take a dark, like a very dark red. And in the overlay brush mode. I'm going to just try to just try to bring a little bit more red to this edge again. So I think this is a good base. This is a good uh, subscriber one badge. So if I just you know duplicate each color, then that's really all I need. So the next one I was going to do is tuna, which is a very bright red color. Alright, so we've got definitely very dark, bright red colors. Uh, so let's go for like right about here as our base. So I'm going to start with the like the little rings on Tuna. Alright, so there's our, our base of the lines. Now let's go in with a dark, this is like a nice dark color. And kind of get some shadows going. Uh, I'm also going to take that light, that nice light color. And I'm just going to kind of give like a nice little, I don't know, like a blurred effect on, let's try to do maybe one edge, on one edge of them. Let me kind of darken this edge a little bit. Keep the highlight on top of the fish. Alright, I'm also going to change these lines to be uh, something different, something different. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, Alright, so now I'm gonna go in. Just kind of draw like more little lines. Alright, I think that might be good. Uh, so I'm just going to... Oops, that's wrong there. I'm gonna go in here, clean up our rice, because our rice definitely got colored over for a bit. Which is why we did a second layer. Yeah, that's about right. Alright, so we got our tuna. So there's our, our yellowtail, our tuna. Let's duplicate again. Alright, now we want to do salmon. So salmon is going to be... It's very orange. Like a very light orange, too. Light but saturated. Yeah, that feels like a good base. That's a good base for salmon. So salmon definitely has a lot of... I guess like fatty lines? I think that's what they are. I don't know. They got like a lot of like these things. All right, now let's go ahead and start getting some nice shadows in here. I might try to add one more little highlight down down the middle here. 
I think that's a pretty good, pretty good salmon. That was actually a lot faster than the uh, all the other ones so far. Probably just because I like salmon so much, so I know what it looks like already. All right, so we got all of our like regular fish. All of our regular fish are in here. So let's go ahead and do number four, which will be bronze. Uh, grab like good base for the bronze color. I'm like there. And let's just start adding some nice shadows around here. We are going to make this extra shiny because it is going to be metal. Or at least it's supposed to be metal. So those shadows are going to be extra dark and those highlights are going to be extra bright. Kind of going in here again and just kind of shading up all these little grains of rice. I think this is good for the shadows. Now I'm going to work on the highlights, so I'm going to just kind of plopping down some of these brighter areas. I'm gonna do like a little highlight right here on the very top. It's gonna be very very shiny. Yeah I see like that bright highlight against that really dark shadow. That's really what metal does. It just it just highlights every little edge. And then I think for just one added layer of realize I'm gonna add little fish lines like that yeah that looks pretty good so there's a nice bronze let's see I'm going to duplicate this I'm gonna merge all this down and I'm gonna see if I can change the like metal type just by changing the, the hue and saturation and stuff because that would save me a lot of time Let's see, I'm also gonna I'm gonna darken this, and then I'm going to go into my levels, and then I'm gonna just kind of push these down. I'm also going I'm just gonna actually desaturate it even more. It still looks too blue. That looks better. So we have bronze going to silver, and then I'm going to. Try to do pretty much the same, same thing. I'm going to change the saturation and try to make it look gold. All right, I'm gonna do another layer on top of this, actually. Something like that. There we go. So it's got like super, super highlight right there. All right, so we got sushi, gold sushi. Uh, first badge, yellow tail sushi. Second badge. Tuna sushi. Third badge, salmon. Fourth badge is bronze. Fifth badge is silver, and sixth badge is gold. All right. Um. So I definitely need to think about the chopstick idea for different tiers. So I have silver chopsticks and gold chopsticks. It looks better on certain ones than others, but I think. Those are gonna be my tier two and three badge players. I think they'll look pretty good. Let me, let me just kind of play around with something here. All right, so I think right here is good first sushi or first chopstick. All right, now I'm gonna take my outline here and the inside and I'm just gonna just gonna erase it it's like this is still on top of everything but it looks like it goes behind so we still got us we still got the sushi and technically behind everything but it doesn't look like it's behind everything which is the cool part Let's see, I still don't like how these are rotated at the bottom. The top looks fine. The bottom looks weird. Um, uh, now that I've played around with that enough, I'm just going to take one of these and we're going to make it shiny. So I'm going to start, I'm going to start with silver because we can just do our, um, our little gradient map trick like we did for the sushi. Maybe there's a little bit right there too. And 
dust, let's not forget the bottom. Um, but yeah, so metal is very shiny. So it has very reflective edges. It's not going to be a lot to see down on the bottom just because it's mostly line art. Alright, so we got one chopstick. So I'm just going to duplicate these two again, just like we did last time. And just kind of rotate. Alright. That's pretty good. I think that's really good. Um, Oh yeah, there we go. We want to duplicate our gradient map for the gold layer. Just bring it up. Make sure we clip it on this one. And look at that. Surprise, we have gold. We already did the gold part. So silver and gold and without... Oopsies. There we go. Without everything. This is just... This is how it looks. This is all I did. I just... I drew it. It's technically going to be over top of everything, but it's going to look like it's behind because I clipped it perfectly with the line art. Uh, but I hope y'all have a good time. I will see y'all next time. Bye.